Hello, we found new music. My name is Ryan Woods, and I'm so happy to be here today. <laughs> I have some new music for you all to find. How crazy is that? Um, my EP comes out on April 16th. It's called King of the Basement, so keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, this first song is The Friend Space. Um, let's get into it. space um, and this next one is the first song I ever released on Spotify um, and it is called Bad Texter and this song is just about a mutual 
like understanding of why like me trying to figure out why this relationship I was in wasn't working and I realized because both parties are extremely terrible at communicating and I just overthink everything and nothing gets talked about between the two it's just like it's like they're they're both afraid to like speak up about things that would help um, the relationship and I included <laughs> of course because I wrote the song and it's about me <laughs> so uh, the song is called Bad Texture I hope you like it If I walked up to you and told you that I love you would you say that If I got on my knees and asked you to marry me, would you say yes? And it doesn't make a difference if we're not communicating. I think we're just overthinking it right now. And it feels like something's missing. I think maybe we should listen to each other till we figure it out Cause I know you wanna reach me But I'm a bad texter I know you wanna see me You know what you like I know you wanna reach me But I'm a bad texter But you don't wanna see me You won't get what you like don't you say you're meant for me Cause I'm all that I'll ever need And no one else and I'm so sorry I don't think of you I know I broke your heart in two Can't trust myself And I guess it makes a difference I'm bad at communicating I think I'm just overthinking I feel like something's missing I think I just need some distance From you baby till I figure it out Cause I know you wanna reach me But I'm a bad texter I know you wanna see me I know what you like I know you wanna reach me It's just the bad weather But you don't wanna see me you like so much for listening um my name is ryan woods king of the basement my first ep drops april 16th um that is very soon uh <laughs> so yeah keep an eye out for that thank you so much we found new music have a lovely rest of your day so i'm in beautiful smoky mountains tennessee wow and that's where you grew yeah. up yeah, pretty much. I was born in Orlando, Florida, and then moved up here when I was like seven. Mm -hmm. And then been here for the last 
I guess, tw- 11, 12 years, 12, 12 years. years, and then I moved to L.A. Yeah, before so, we get yeah. too far, we're talking to Ryan Woods, the yeah. one and only, the one and only king. <laughs> and King of the Basement. King of the Basement is out now, all right? That's an EP yep. that you need to go stream right now, and we condone it on We Found You Music. By the way, I need to send you one of these t-shirts. Um, yes, please. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to hand deliver it to you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, we'll get uh, so we'll get lunch or something. We have to, now that I have your number. <laughs> yeah, we'll be able to coordinate a lot of you. I know, I know, right? But King of the Basement, tell me about it. Well... Um, it all started in the room I was originally in. <laughs> uh, that's the, the basement, the famous basement. Um, and that's kind of just where I started making music and wrote my, you know, first, first few songs down there. Uh, when I got a laptop and um, Logic for the first time, started teaching myself all of those things and uh you know started posting ideas on soundcloud so that's kind of it's kind of the origin of everything that i'm doing today it all started in in the basement and uh in my bedroom Mm -hmm. of uh, my parents house and um yeah it's just been you know full speed trying to make it you know, in music. In music. Since then. And, but you obviously have a knack for melody. And I mean, for instance, Zane Lowe p- premiered your Pillow song. That was that was really cool on his like yeah. pop radio show that he's really picky with. You know, yeah. and um, that was really cool. Yeah. And fr- um, let's see, Friend Space. I freaking love that song. You know, thank um, you. You couldn't imagine a way I feel about you. How did you come up with that hook? Like, did it take a while to get to that? Because it's really catchy and it's just a sing along, you know? Yeah. Um, that's that was actually where I started with the song was the hook. Um, I had started making a little instrumental, uh, just kind of messing around one morning. Woke up in LA and uh, was playing on the guitar on those chords that da, na, 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 na. Uh, and that's that was the first thing I laid down um and then you know put some drums behind it and I was like mm-hmm. okay this is definitely like a chorus vibe like whatever this ends up being as a full song like this has to be the chorus so I kind of started from the chorus and built it out from there yeah um and and yeah, I was like, I oh yeah, I need a chorus over this. <laughs> so, Man. yeah, it was just uh, kind of a product of me in my room, trial and error, messing with this and that melody, and eventually I landed on that one and mm-hmm. was like, okay, what what could I say over this? And I was I was simping for a girl at the time, mm-hmm. uh, so I I was like, you know, you couldn't imagine the way I feel about you because it was just like um pretty like close friend of mine who i was like very uh careful to tell her that because it would totally change the dynamic of our relationship even if it um didn't progress anything it was just like um it it would have you know you i I I think you know how that you 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 covered it (laughs) Yeah, I covered it. <laughs> the thing is, you know, what's so interesting is like, you know, you, you sort of have like that space pop at times, but then you hit that big chorus. So it's like, you're like, you're definitely like a classic rock fan, but you're also like a pop fan, you know? I feel yeah. like you, you go for that like big chorus. And I wonder why. I wonder if it's because you want all your fans to be right there singing along with you. Right. You want that hook. You want. That, yeah. You know, you yeah, want that's my your song. I feel like you do that a lot with your songs. Yeah, that's kind of my goal with like the music I, I make. I want it to translate well live. Um, 
but I also love like beautiful, like really chill, lo-fi, synthy stuff. So I feel like I kind of pack that in with the verses mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. generally. And then like, I want the chorus to be like, you know, a pop chorus. Remember, you're going to remember it. It's going to be stuck in your head for days. You know, bad texture, perfect mm -hmm. example. So yeah, I love like, you know, kind of the way I format my songs is like, the storytelling I leave in the verses and then the chorus just like is like not really it adds to the story but it's not really like kind of just sums it up and it's like like bad texture I'm talking about my lack of communication skills and like just how ADHD I am and like it's, you know I can't yeah there's not a lot I I can focus on and like yeah uh and I'm like kind of summarize that with yeah i'm a bad texter sorry like yeah. that's interesting yeah. because you know there's a lot of people dealing with that and social anxiety have you ever thought about have you gone live with your fans and like asked questions like how do you guys deal with social anxiety and things like that you know what i mean like yeah I would give you all kinds of answers <laughs> yeah well that's been like an obsession of mine the last like two months because I've kind of reached a point where I'm getting like so busy as an artist and I'm trying to stay on top of everything and I'm like will like trying to like harness my ADHD and like social anxiety you know make me less creative or like will it just put me on another level as an artist and I'm always trying to like switch up my process and like yeah. change the bag and yeah but i've been really with this ep coming out i really want to be able to just grow in to the opportunities i've i'm being given and being able to uh expand myself to uh be able to like just tolerate everything and do everything efficiently and effectively so i've been really digging into just like self-help books you know and like stuff like that just yeah. trying to uh stay on top of all of that and the biggest thing that's helped me is just the realization that i'm like never just like present i'm never like truly in the now and like that's done wonders for me just like when i feel myself getting pulled into like anxiety or yeah. you know anything else i, I realized it's because I'm being in very uh, anticipant of like up to the very next second, but not in the actual like moment. So it's you like always, yeah. so there's always a little bit that. of a buffer. Yeah. So you try to work on that and improving that, that in yourself, but nobody's perfect. And it's a yeah. lot at once. Like you said, like, you know, you've been dropping a lot of music this time last year, you and I knew each other and you hadn't dropped a single single, you know? Yeah and and a lot has changed speaking of you moved to los angeles and i'm sure as from what i can tell you're having a great time yeah and obviously it was it was a super like big shock when like COVID happened because i'm like i just moved to la and i'm like i have to like, start my my career like this way like this will be interesting let's see how this goes you know um but yeah, it's been, I've been having, you know, as much fun as I can with it, you know, can't take yeah. life too seriously and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of the constant, like, fluctuating struggle of like, I want to grow up, but also like wanting to stay attached to your like childhood and like, you know, uh, live, live while you're young, you know, so. Yes. It's always a, you know, I've been, I feel like I've found a really good balance of like, you know, just like m becoming an adult and making sure I'm like Dude. staying responsible for the things I need to be, but also like allowing myself to, you know, make mistakes and learn and grow from there as well. So there's it's, um, what actually, you know, it's so funny. What a great time to, to move to Los Angeles when you literally like have to lock yourself in the room and like not experience LA how it is like yeah. LA is like, Oh, 
I'm going to this party. I'm going to this party. I'm going in this writing session. Yeah. You kind of got lucky. Cause yeah, I did. you got to acclimate yourself to like Zoom sessions and oh, I can only choose to meet this person or this person right now. <laughs> cause yeah. cause I we're in a pandemic. But now yeah. now we're a year later and like people have vaccines and now you can actually experience LA. But actually my advice is you you moved at the right time because <laughs> yeah you're like okay not a shock factor now i get to like slowly acclimate myself to this crazy city <laughs> yeah no i kind of yeah i moved in like november 2019 so i had like three-ish months oh, right to kind of like uh get a taste and yeah. honestly like i had started getting overwhelmed and then like yeah uh the pandemic hit and i was like this sucks but also kind of not mad because like I'm an introvert you know socially anxious I get to just lock myself in my room and dig into my art which is exactly what I did um I I made significant progress in my own like production and I was able to uh like pretty pretty much co-produce every single one of the songs on my EP and two of which I fully produced um, and that I wouldn't have been able to focus that hard on my music if, if, you know, not for lockdown and just me having to do everything myself for a couple months. So that's incredible. Yeah. Isn't that definitely like, (laughs) yeah, we, I definitely got the most out of it that I possibly could. So I, you know, no regrets. No regrets, and I love my life. I think that's good that you said that you like co-produced a lot of this, because you know, like I'm a fan. Like you're doing a lot with your music. I think it's cool because like you go minimal, but then you go big, and that's fun. Yeah, you know, you you're not afraid to have those big choruses, um, and also you're obviously collaborating with some other cool artists, like um, who's the artist on Interscope that I'm spacing on right now? Oh, uh, maybe Ren for short. Oh, Ren for short. You did something cool with yeah. her. Um, well, she was in, yeah, she was in my music video. It's nice. kind of a funny story. Nice. Um, we had just become like internet friends and like, uh, I'd found her music through like a friend showing me. She's like, oh, you need to check out this cool artist. And I was like, cool. So I did. And like, uh, I was like, she's so cool uh i'm a follower and she followed me back and you know dm'd her was like i love your stuff you know she said ditto uh and we kind of just were like friends for a while on instagram and then she visited la in november i guess this past Mm -hmm. november and uh it was actually like a miracle that she did because like yeah my that music video kind of fell apart like the day before like the location we picked ended up like all the green had disappeared from the location it was like an apple orchard and there were no apples no leaves on the trees um so it just kind of everything was all dusty and gross and then the model who was supposed to be like the love interest in the video uh she canceled at like 9 p.m the night before Oh my God. And we were like, we were just like, what are we going to do? And they were like, give us till like 1 p.m. tomorrow. Reach out to friends. See if you can get someone in the video. If not, we'll like work with it and still make a dope video. And they were super cool about everything. Um, the, and that's, I'm talking about the Reggies, my my video guys. Um, but yeah. So where Ren for short comes in is I was kind of just, we were like Snapchatting or something. And I was like, my music video just fell apart. Like kind of just complaining artist to artist. And she was like, no, that sucks. Like that happened to me once. And then like, she sent another message a few minutes later and was like, actually like, I can do it. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. And I, didn't, I didn't really have to ask. She was just like, I'll do it. Yeah. I've always wanted to be in someone's video. And I was like, you like are an angel like you (laughs) literally just like completely like made this music video like 
you know, like, uh, it just brought everything together again. Cause yeah. by that point, uh, we had uh, like a, <laughs> <laughs> at that point we had like a, uh, um, we had a new location and like new like call times figured out. So we yeah. were like really, uh, we were just trying to find a girl and then, you know, she kind of just <laughs> fell into our lap and I was like, you are the yeah. coolest person ever for this. Yeah. Well, that's um, cool, man. yeah, that's definitely a fun story. Yeah. She's, you know, story for me on her was she was supposed, she was supposed to play our 2020 South by Southwest showcase. Oh. That got canceled. And her and I were like back and forth. She's like, I'm so excited to play this show, you know? And I was like, yeah. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to do an interview backstage. And I still like, I've posted that story like five times. Um, I've posted the poster five times since the the lineup that never happened and then she always responds and she's just like i'm so sad <laughs> i know yeah no we were i mean we were like two two and a half weeks away from my the showcase i was supposed to play like we were gearing up getting ready to rehearse and then like the world just fell apart and yep. we're like no like so I close I know. all i want to do is just play a show man uh well hopefully we can do that soon my friend um yeah it's looking up second vaccine guys in an hour and a half <laughs> nice this is good distracting me because i'm a little nervous but it's like it's all good <laughs> but uh no i mean you know like you're one of my favorite artists ryan and it's really good so that, that we're able to chat and thank you for taking the time to record those two songs if you want to rewind if you are just somehow joining us during the end of this interview um ryan played two of my favorite songs off of this new ep which is called what <laughs> uh king of the basement it's out, out now and out now and the friend space and bad texture you you performed for us and that was very very cool for we found new music yeah um, and hopefully no, we I, can, yeah we can I do it you lives. guys so much <laughs> yeah mutual you right? guys have, like yeah you guys have done so much and just supporting me and it's literally like every day you're out here like posting something about ryan woods and i'm like i love the everyone at this company and grant you guys are all like <laughs> well it's because you're so nice how good music so you're getting some fun support you know like early rising and like all these dope whatever lorem and all of them yeah that's a good sign man <laughs> yeah it's a good sign um, you're putting your heart and soul into it and you're getting a good response so that's congratulations yeah i'm just incredibly stoked i get to just do this for yeah. a living can't keep, can't believe it keep doing it the way you do it but it's like it's cool that you can produce it into these bigger songs because i know like you know i mean you'd love to like just sing lullabies all day i bet you know, and yeah. I, can tell, I can tell like you, you know, you got those lullabies. <laughs> oh yeah. But, no, I, I love just my favorite way to play music personally is just like me and a piano and yes. just like alone, like face down, like just melting into the piano. <laughs> uh, it's like the most intimate like thing. And it yeah. gives me a feeling that like I can't get anywhere else. I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Just love music. Yeah. But I also love yeah, exactly. raging at shows and yep. moshing yep. and all that fun stuff. So. And you got you have some friends you can have fun with in LA now. I know Gabe James is one of your friends. And yeah, he's become had, a great friend of mine. We just had Gabe James on the show. We just had him yeah. perform a couple of the tracks. And I oh, don't cool. know if I like heard about him through you, like just like yo, check out my friend Gabe. Um, but uh we had him. And so the best way that I hear about music is from other musicians such as yourself. So send it over. That's, that's the best way. Cause they Isn't know, it? they know what is cool and what's not. And yeah, you know, well, everybody, obviously can, like yeah. ev anyone can listen to music, but it's always a treat when like a uh, fellow artist like sends me a playlist or shares their own music they're working on with me. Mm -hmm. um, Somebody you really yeah. trust. Yeah 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 you want to hear what like 
what what really makes them tick you know yeah so this obviously went on way longer than expected but you know what <laughs> we're friends and this is yeah fun. yeah we're just um, two bros just two bros talking in the woods <laughs> in the woods over zoom <laughs> Why y'all got Classic these old trees over there? It's like I was talking to Alt Bloom, and he's in Montana. He's got this big, beautiful wilderness behind him, and you have all this big, beautiful wilderness. <laughs> yeah, I got my dogs chilling. Oh my God! Let's let's say hi to dog. What's his this name? This is Lola. Uh, she Lola. just turned one on Tuesday, actually. Oh, Lola, you are. So up. she's a. It's a birthday week. I don't know. All my other dogs are being lazy okay. inside. But... Yeah. Oh, of course you have like a billion animals because you're off. How many acres are you guys on? Um, about uh, two. Two. That's really good. I'm say, yeah, yeah, not, not too much, but we got a nice little. Here, I'll, I'll give you a little. Yeah. Backyard tour. Yeah, we'll have this. Is, guys, this is the extended version on YouTube. You know. Like, <laughs> yeah. You guys only got 14 minutes on IGTV, but you're going to get the extended version on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Going to get yeah, that. Yeah, so it's backyard. We're having a little bonfire with, like, friends and family for the release tonight. That's amazing. Um, That's great. And then, uh, yeah. Beautiful. That's, that's the yard. Yeah, our property goes back a little ways into the woods. But, yeah, cool, love dude. it out here. It's beautiful. Yeah, you must be so happy to be home for a while. Yeah, um, definitely. Cool. Definitely beats being in L.A. alone. <laughs> okay, so I also live alone in L.A. Like, I have a single apartment in L.A., and it's hard. It's like, I'm down here in Laguna with my parents right now for a reason. Because yeah. it's, nice. it's nice to be with people that you know you're going to see every day. <laughs> Yeah. And luck thank God for my roommates, man. Like I have two like great roommates. They're some, literally my best friends. Uh so being yeah. there's not so bad, honestly, but it it's all obviously preferable to be around family and whatnot. Well so the best thing is things are gonna pick up with the E P and the album, so you get a bit more and more busy. And you know things will things will be all right. Things will get normal. Anyway, yeah. all right. For the third time, um, <laughs> thank you so much, Ryan, for joining us on We Found You Music. The EP is King of the Basement. It's out now. Go stream it. Thanks for performing for us. I can't wait to no to problem. catch up in person soon. So thanks, Ryan, for joining us on We Found New Music. Thanks so much for having me. Hope you have a lovely day. <laughs>